Hi everyone, it's time for Cocktails in History. That's where we mix a cocktail and talk about a little history that's somehow related to it. And today we're gonna to make one of my favorite cocktails, a Gold Rush. The Gold Rush cocktail was invented in the early 2000s, but of course its name brings us back to 1849 and the famous California Gold Rush that was a major event in American history. All right, first the cocktail, then the history. A Gold Rush has only a couple of ingredients. First, you need some lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce, freshly squeezed, of course, into the shaker. Also, three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup, homemade, of course. Put that in there. And then, the important stuff, the bourbon, two ounces of bourbon. I'm going with Elijah Craig here, a classic brand. There's one, and there's two. Take it on up. That should do it. Looking good. Ooh, smells amazing. Here goes the pour. Ah, uh, looking amazing. And now the secret weapon, a grapefruit rind. So you want to cut that and you want to get just a little bit of white on there. And then you want to take it and spritz, kind of squeeze it a little bit on the top. Drop it in. And then the ultimate test. That is an amazing cocktail. All right, now that we've got our cocktail, time for a little history. Here are three things you need to know about the California Gold Rush. First, it touched off the greatest migration in US history. In 1848, the white population of California was less than 1,000. 18 months later, it was 100,000. Two years after that, it was 300,000. All of it due to the California Gold Rush. Second, most of the people that headed west in 1849 did not strike it rich. In fact, some of the most prosperous and successful people in the gold rush were people who went west to sell equipment to the miners. They sold them tents and pickaxes and shovels and guns and food at exorbitant prices. Locals called this mining the miners. And one of the greatest examples was a guy named James Phelan Jr. He was an Irish immigrant who was running a small grocery store in New York City when the gold rush you know, mania hit. He immediately made plans to relocate to the West Coast and sent some ships filled with supplies to sell to the miners. Phelan made a fortune mining the miners, and then he took that money and bought up a lot of downtown San Francisco real estate and basically became one of the richest men in the city's history. If you go to San Francisco, you can see one of his beautiful old buildings is the Phelan Building, and some of his descendants became big players in politics, including a U.S. Senator. Third, for Native Americans, the gold rush was nothing short of a murderous, genocidal disaster. Before the gold rush, the native population of California was about 300,000. Over the next 20 years, however, that population was reduced by 80%. Some of it due to disease, much of it due to murderous attacks on Native Americans, including state-sponsored genocide. Well, that admittedly is a dark note to end on, but history can't always inspire us. Sometimes history needs to punch us in the face. I hope you enjoyed this little foray into cocktails and history. And if you did, like this video and also follow along here on TikTok so you can stay up with all things history here at In the Past Lane. Cheers.